Good Wednesday morning, friends, or afternoon, or evening, or whenever you might happen to be joining. For those that I might not know, I'm Reverend Jennifer Finley, our Momentum and Discipleship Pastor here at First United Methodist Church in Kirksville. And this is our weekly time to pause together in the middle of the week, to take a deep breath together, uh, perhaps even continue to drink your coffee or your tea or whatever you might be having as you are here together with me. This is our time to pause and reflect on our practices of faith and how they intersect with our daily lives, how God is meeting us in the midst of all of our daily actions. Um, we began this practice together, oh goodness, almost, not quite three years ago. And that practice, that weekly practice of saying, how is God meeting me? How is God meeting us in the midst of our daily lives? Daily lives that change over time, of course, but that, that practice has become really important to me, important to my own spiritual walk, my own walk with God, and I hope and pray that it's become important to you as well. And so today, as we gather or as you join at a different time, I'm wondering a question that might sound a little odd, but I'm wondering what tables are you gathering around these days? When we started these conversations several years ago, I think I probably asked that question, but asking that question in uh, COVID time several years ago meant very different things than asking it now. So I'm wondering, what tables are you gathering around these days? Perhaps you are gathering around physical tables that are full. Perhaps you have family at home and perhaps even trying to get meals on the table is a challenge every week as life is busy and frantic. Um, perhaps you're gathering with friends um, at different places. Perhaps you're gathering in restaurants around tables, um, actual physical tables. Um, or perhaps your tables are feeling emptier than you would want. Perhaps you're grieving the loss of someone that you used to sit at a table with. Um, by a death or or perhaps you are in that stage of life where your kids have flown away and you're thinking about what that empty nest looks like what that feels like what a table for two um, or even one seems like on a regular basis um, we have community tables where we gather. Um, I've been really grateful here in Kirksville that one of our community gathering spaces, an old building called Pickler's Famous, has reopened as Lupita's with um, some wonderful food, but also a great community gathering space. So perhaps you're gathering around those tables. But I'm wondering, what do your tables hold for you? Perhaps these are tables that hold excitement and wonder and joy, the joy of gathering together. Perhaps it's just the mundane gathering of day in and day out together with those that you live with, if you happen to live with others. Um, or perhaps there's an ache as you gather by yourself or as you gather around unexpected tables tables that hold some grief or some fear or some anxiety. I was thinking about this because I ran back across a song, one of my favorite songs these days, that I hadn't run across for a while. Um, those of you who might know me well may know that um, I tend to like folk music. Um, that tends to be one of my go-tos for music. Um, I don't tend to like country as much, but there was an album that came out several years ago now, I think um, probably 19, 18 or 19, um, that by the High Women, by a group of artists, um, Brandy Carlisle among them. And it kind of crossed over between a folk genre and a country genre. And they had a song that they wrote for this album called Crowded Table. And it, the chorus of this is, I want a house with a crowded table and a place by the fire for everyone. Let us take on the world while we're young and able and bring us back together when the day is done. I love that chorus. 
the time when I first heard it, it gave some voice to some of my own longings. I want a crowded table to sit around. But there's this verse that caught my attention this time around as I've been thinking about and listening to this music. If we want a garden, we're gonna have to sow the seed, plant a little happiness, let the roots run deep. If it's love that we give and it's love that we reap, if we want a garden, we're gonna have to sow the seed. I got to thinking about the ways in which love and seeds of love meet us around tables, even if there are tables that we didn't expect to find ourselves at. I was thinking about the tables that I gather at, along with some of you. Um, Sunday nights I spend at our campus ministry building, and this last Sunday night was one of our first full gatherings of the semester. And as I watched students come in and sit and talk and eat and enjoy, I thought, yeah, I want this crowded table. This is where God's love is meeting me today. I sort of expected that, honestly. What I didn't expect was after the meal was finished to then have some students who were upstairs gathered around a table playing games and, and helping ed edit papers and gathering around in that kind of way. And, and then the meal was done completely done, leftovers put back in the fridge, but I popped downstairs to find two students who had come in late and had pulled out the leftovers again, and they were having a crowded table just with the two of them, and were having a great conversation. And God, I suspect, I hope, met them there. It certainly met me in that image of leftovers pulled out, even just an hour or so after the meal had been put away. And then I got to thinking about this table, this table of Holy Communion. That's just a quiet place today, uh, not on a Sunday morning. But last Sunday, here in this space and online as we worshiped together in our faith community, um, we gathered around a table where we celebrated the birthday of someone who was turning 103. But this table held that celebration along with um, a three-year-old who is new to our community and new to our, 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 our faith community and our Kirksville community. And I got to thinking about the ways that this table is bigger and wider than we can possibly imagine. And it can hold 103 and it can hold three years old all together. And God met me in that expansive table. And of course, that table, it expands well past a physical space. But I'm also thinking, let's see if this will let me do this. I'm also thinking that this morning as I look out at this, that God meets me and I hope meets you together if you are, when you are physically present at that table in those spaces and our tables at home, in our community, wherever we are, are reminders of this table as well. God meets us, friends, in those tables that we expect to be at, those places that we help create, that we want to be at, and at those tables that we least expected, the empty nest or the table alone when a spouse has passed away. God meets us in all of those. There were a few years ago when I first ran into this song that um, what I heard in it for myself was longing longing for a crowded table, longing to not be at a table by myself. And I'm not sure what I expected in that longing, in that prayer to God. But as I hear it now, I think, yeah, yeah, I've got that crowded table. God has met me in this crowded table, in our tables with our students, in tables with you all. And it is good. And God has met me there and continues to meet me there. And so I'm wondering, where and how is God's love meeting you, the tables that you find yourself at? For we know that Jesus gathered around tables. This is a meditation, a poem that I ran across that reminded me that Jesus himself gathered around unexpected tables. 
Jesus of the table, you gathered unexpected people around hearths and hospitality. You stretched out your hand for grapes and bread, for wine and welcome. May we populate our tables with all kinds of people, because at the table our hearts can be glad for a while. And so friends, if your heart is glad at the tables that you are gathering, I rejoice with you. God rejoices with you. But I also ran across a passage of scripture and a poem that talked about the time that Jesus gathered around a table with his anxious disciples and gave them peace. Jesus, you shared peace around a table of anxiety, peace with the bread, peace with the wine, peace in the face of the uncertain, peace in the place of pain. May we share tables of peace in places of pain, sharing food and friendships and words of life because you came to a fearful world and found your place around those tables as well. And so if you find yourself in a place where fear and pain or anger or heartache is joining you at the table, know that Jesus joins you there as well. Wherever you are, it is my joy to share this table and all of our tables with you. Go in peace, my friends.